One last piece before we go away is I wanted to add just like this progress bar that essentially is saying, hey, um, you know, you're almost there. You're almost completed. So we're just going to add it in and we'll say div class equals to progress. Close off that div and then div class equals to progress bar progress bar dash success and progress bar striped. And we'll do a row, uh, a roll, excuse me, of progress bar as one word. And then aria value now equaling to 50. And then aria value min equals to zero. This is all coming from Bootstrap's documentation. If you wanted to just jump in to a success bar there or uh, a loading bar basically. And then value max equals to 100. Right now the style is width is 50%. Close that off, close that off. And oops, we wanna make sure that this is in a value there. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we are gonna just do span class equals to SR only. And this is 50% complete. Close off that span and then 50% complete. Save that. Refresh in here. Now when I leave, it's showing me, hey, you're almost done. Um, so let's say almost there. Join us for great content. Let's put almost there there. And then I'll just do P class equals to lead. Join us for great content. Save that. Refresh in here. Now when I leave, it says join. Okay, cool. So it's, it's looking a little bit better as far as getting this going. Um, I might wanna have this all of this in the center, so I'll just add a class to the modal and say text center, save that, refresh. Now when I leave, it says almost there, join us for great content. Of course you can put images and stuff like that. That join button, I do wanna have um, a little bit m like more robust, so I'll do default primary. We'll save that, refresh. And there we go. So now I've got this, I hit join, this field may not be blank. Okay, cool. And notice it's showing up in both places. Um, this is not necessarily the most ideal, but it is at least showing and working uh, in a way that's, that's you know, dynamic. It's, it's definitely working for us um, in, a, in, a, in a solid way. Um, I could say that instead of having the alert error, right? So this is setting all of those join form errors I could put it in that's related to this particular form instead of the other one. So to do that, I'm just gonna use this form and then I'll find this. So going back into the base, I'll say, I'm gonna put up here and say var this equals to this, or let's use this underscore. And now I can use this underscore here. And then down here, we'll say this.find. And this should be the join form error. And we'll put that text back here. I'm gonna leave the other one still there just in case. Save that, refresh. Now if I leave and hit join, uh, it's still showing this other error, which is fine. That's because of this. So I'm just gonna do that same thing that I did below. And we'll just do that. There we go. Um, this also I might want to have as find join form parent. Um, like I might want to change this whole thing. So this that would be the same as this. And not find, but just this.parent. We save that. Refresh. And there we go. We say, um, let's just go ahead and hit join. Notice this field cannot be blank. It's only doing it in one place, ABC123, and then whatever. I hit join and it says success, although briefly it says success and then it goes away. Okay, cool. So um, now that's a little bit better as to what we wanted to do. So um, that's just cleaning up that, that modal. Um, in the next one, we'll actually make it where we can have multiple pages for our pages that we have. Um, so stay tuned.